Ah, yes, good old Vantana Waddle D, player number four in the Kirby series. I mean, like, here, here's a fun fact. Bandana Waddle Dee has been around since like in the since the 1980s. That's three decades. Think about that. 80s to the 90s to the 2000s to the 20 teens. I mean, like, come on, this dude has been around for a very long time. Plus, he is a fan favorite. He's got some good demand and request to get into Smash Bros. and has had that for the past number of Smash games, right? Uh, even let's say, even if you do consider him to be a generic enemy guess what that don't that doesn't really matter anymore does it like anybody could be playable in smash bros at this point ain't that right piranha plant yeah yeah we didn't see that coming but uh all jokes aside though bandana waddle Dee does in fact have a really great potential in terms of moveset for smash right like uh just take his main weapon for example a spear we do not have a pure spear user on the roster today so i mean like bandana waddle Dee would be the first true spear wielder in smash that's cool at least it's not another you know one of them blue haired swordsmen's right at least it's something different it's not a sword i get you know let's let's leave it at that so uh yeah cool stuff here but uh let's stop waddling around oh that's bad and uh let's just get into the bulk of the video shall we Hi. all right up first good old neutral special this one's just simple the spear throw. I mean, come on, right? Neutral special. Got to give him some sort of little projectile to play around with. It's just, it, it, yeah, I, I, I made it clear. It's simple. But basically, um, Bandana Waddle Dee, what does he do? Uh, well, he throws his spear. I mean, you can see the little clip, right? You see what he does. Uh, he just throws the spear. And he does it repeatedly. And I think that's what you could, uh, that's where you could have some fun with the attack, right? You could press the neutral uh, button one time and he throws one spear. Or you could press and hold it down, and then he's going to repeatedly chuck out them spears. All right? So, you know, got, like, rapid-fire action, and you just got, like, a little solo shot. Either way, it's kind of cool. Gives him a nice projectile to play around with. <laughs> Moving on to up special now. Uh, of course, we have to have this one in there somewhere, right? The spear copter? Like, come on now. Come on now. So this move I pretty much envision starting out by uh, Bandana Waddle Dee kind of jumping into the air a little bit, and then he starts rotating and twirling that spear around above his head. And again, if you get hit by that, you know, if there's an opponent above you, it will be a multi-hit attack. So, you know, you got to watch out. Don't uh, don't get caught uh, above Bandana Waddle Dee. But uh, again, he's going to be twirling that spear around, making him able to sort of, well, kind of float and have like, uh, you know, control over it. Because it, again, it's kind of like... I'll compare it to like Peach and Daisy, you know, when you hold their jump and you kind of can move back and forth. That's kind of what this is going to be. But again, it's your up special. So you will come downwards over time, but it'll be kind of slow and you'll have a little bit more control. So, uh, yeah, just makes sense. Hmm. Now for down special, this one I'm calling the element uh, change, the element swap, whatever you... This will make sense. So in the Kirby Star Allies game, there is a fun little feature where Bandana Waddle Dee, amongst other characters, can have different elements uh, as a part of their attacks. And I figured this would be kind of a cool way for Bandana Waddle Dee to incorporate that to make the spear just a little bit more uh, cooler and unique. So uh, basically you hit down special, a little menu will pop up with a few different element types to uh, choose from. And uh, those would be uh, Sizzle, Blizzard, Zap, Splash, those are just the four I'm going to name, and I will show those off. I might be doing that in the video right now, but uh, the, the idea is you choose one of those elements, and what the element does it is well, any spear, literally any spear attack that you do after you choose that element will have that. So, for example, you want to choose the sizzle, uh, the, the effect, right? You choose sizzle. So, any spears... Whether it's his neutral special, they will be, you know, flame spears now, which is cool. Uh, forward smashes, you know, neutral layers, up smash, whatever attack uses a spear, it will now have that fire attack uh, effect to it. So basically, when the spear would hit the opponent, uh, maybe it's got to hit him a couple times to kind of like set them ablaze, the opponent. And then, uh, you know, for a few seconds, they'll take like constant minor damage, you know, from the burn effect, you know, burn over time effect. So that could be kind of cool. Uh, you could also do uh, the blizzard. How about this one? Uh, blizzard, I think this one's, well, I mean, it's ice. You know where we're going with this one, right? If any, well, you get, again, I think for every sort of, every one of these uh, uh, effects, 
uh, you got to hit at least multiple times for like the uh, effect to maybe wear. Or maybe it's a small chance. I'm not sure. Either way, what is Blizzard going to do? It's going to freeze the opponent, right? If you get hit, if the opponent gets hit by the uh, the attack, there's going to be a percentage uh, percentage chance that uh, that they'll become frozen, and then you can go follow it up with something else, right? So uh, that's Blizzard. Uh, of course, Zap. Again, this is <laughs> this one's going to be pretty self-explanatory here. Uh, when when this attack connects uh, to the opponent, it's going to have a chance to cause like a little electrical explosion, and then of course a stun effect for a few seconds. So uh, yeah, really play around with them elements, get them involved a lot, because I think that could be. I I don't want to say it's a gimmick, but uh, it, it really spices things up in terms of uh, Bandana Waddle Dee's uh, you know moves overall. So. It adds a little bit of flair to everything. And then, of course, the last one I'll talk about is the splash effect. Now, uh, what what happens with this one? I hope I'm gonna. Per- uh, I hope I say this correctly, and I hope it makes sense the way I'm gonna say this. But basically, when you get hit, when the opponent gets hit by an attack, uh, a splash, you know, a, a, like water drops, will splash down on top of the opponent and then like to the right and to the left. So like you get hit with it and there's just like a big, a couple big water bubbles. And what do the water bubbles do? Well, they'll end up exploding and they'll just kind of have like good knockback and launch power. But it, I think it's, you know, it, it's got a good, I, it's, I don't know. It, it's, it, it's really hard to kind of explain how I'm trying to say splash, but basically you get hit with it and then water droplets come out and well, they'll, pretty much explode almost right after the attack, after the spear connects for the attack. So, I don't know, it's just kind of a cool idea, you know, really get different elements involved. So, yeah, that's what I got for down special, and, I mean, that kind of covers all spear attacks as well. Now forward smash, well, I mean, I I guess, like, up smash and forward smash and up tilt and forward stuff... A, a lot of a lot of his attacks are going to revolve around the spear. I guess that's what I'm getting to. So basically, up smash, forward smash, tilt, whatever. It's going to be like a spear thrust, a spear jab, a spear whack, what whatever it might be. You know, like an overhead slam with the spear, whatever it might be. That's going to well, pretty much be like a majority of his moves, right? Because like, I, I, of course, he's got some other things. You could take like neutral air from Kirby, for example. Kirby just kind of spins around in a 360. Heck, Bandana Waddle Dee could do that, right? He's going to be the same, like, uh, hitbox and, fr- and uh, you know, size to Kirby. So, you know, you could copy that from Kirby if you want. But, again, it's just, like, so many attacks. And it's like, all right, yeah, you're going to do a lot of stuff. Pokes, jabs, thrusts, whatever with the spear. So, yeah, I think we get this one. And this one, you know, it, it makes sense. Plus, it's going to have good reach for, for any of the attacks because it is a spear. It's got uh, good length to it. Now, of course, the last one, Mega Ton Punch. This one is a really cool callback to when you first meet Bandana Waddle Dee. But basically, Bandana Waddle Dee punches straight downwards and just cracks the stage. Maybe not like you won't actually see the stage crack in the game, but like uh, he'll end up punching. Like Bandana Waddle Dee will punch the stage. This is how the Final Smash goes. He punches it, and then like oh, just a huge white life, uh, white life, white light engulfs the entire stage causing like big blowback big knockback big damage to anybody that gets caught in it so it's kind of like it's a quick right to the point one but like you can you can trap a lot of people that are you know really close to you so it's gonna gonna be a pretty powerful one right now we're moving on to the spirits now uh, i'll explain the legend spirit <sighs> yes we do see it's the le- it's the halberd spirit and usually i make up my own spirit Halberd is already a legend spirit in Smash Bros, so why did I choose this? It's simple. I chose the Halberd spirit because here, here's the fact. If I got this correct, which I'm pretty sure I did, the only way to actually access the Halberd spirit in Smash Ultimate is by buying it from Funky Kong Shop. Now, there's quite a bit of people that don't get that far in World of Light, so they never have access to this, because I don't even think you can summon the Halberd. I'm pretty sure you can't summon it either. So I'm just saying, make Halberd the Legend Spirit, so it's easily more accessible to everybody. That's the only reason I'm going with Halberd, because again, like a lot of people will not play World of Light or don't get too far into it. So 
just give a, another way to get this really cool legend spirit, right? But uh, yeah, you can see the other ones. Uh, we got uh, Funky Kong, or pff, Funky Kong. No, <laughs> we got uh, Buff DDD. Of course, come on, we got to get him in there, right? The fight could just be, you know, facing a King DDD, and he's a lot stronger than usual, right? Uh, we got Zero Two. Who actually knows this character? Zero Two. Anybody? Anybody? No. Maybe. Maybe somebody. Okay. This one, Dark Meta Knight. I checked the game. Unless I just overlooked it, Dark Meta Knight does not have an actual spirit in Smash Bros. Again, maybe I missed it, but I don't think I did. So Dark Meta Knight, yes. Put him in there. Give him a spirit. Why not? Then, of course, you just got, like, other friends. Uh, you got, uh, you know, Biospark. You got Blade Knight. Uh, you got Bird Birdon. Uh, of course, I, I did leave, you know, one empty space there. So you could throw in whoever you want for spirits. Right, you could throw in, you know, some reusable ones. You could throw in the bandana Waddle D slash uh, the Waddle D spirit, the one that gets enhanced. You know, uh, you could throw in. There's tons of Kirby spirits you could use. So odds are you'll probably see if bandana Waddle D were to be playable. Odds are we will see a couple reusable spirits. So uh, yeah, that's kind of why I left that uh, blank space down there, and I did get that novice spirit in the, the in there again. Ah, good me, good on me. But uh, yeah, that's kind of what I got for the spirits. Now for the stage, uh, I'm actually going back to uh, Megaton Punch here. It's the Megaton Punch Arena. I think this is just a really cool callback to when you first see the character. Now, I know this, this stage isn't going to be the most flashy, but maybe it doesn't need to be. Like, you'll see the two competitors, they'll line up, and they each are on their own little couple mats or the platform or whatever. And I think that's kind of what the stage is. I think that's what the stage would be. But there's going to be a little slight difference to the stage. So you'll have the two platforms, you know, kind of maybe elevated a little bit. And then you got your bigger bottom platform. But what if, just for a fun effect, if you have, if you have uh, the, the background uh, effects on, right? If you have the stage hazards on. What if you have a couple, you know, other Kirby characters in the background doing this? I'm not saying like every five seconds. No, maybe like every... Uh, 30 seconds, I don't know, I'm just throwing that out there for an example, but say every 30 seconds, a Kirby character is in the background, and they perform a Megaton Punch in the background, causing like a little Earth Shake kind of effect to, in the in the background for the stage, right? Anybody playing on the stage, you're on a platform, oh, you're going to feel that, then you're going to trip, I know everybody loves tripping, but I'm just saying, trying to give it that sort of feel of the Megaton Punch arena, so could be kind of a cool idea. Uh, but uh, that is what I have for the moveset, the stage, and, of course, the spirits. But uh, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed, as always. So, uh, yeah, uh, I guess I'll see you when I'm looking at you.